back to the same lines we had before and go in with color instead. So you're going to get to see the differences between the two parts and we'll also see the end result and how that can be different so that you guys can make your own decisions whenever you're comic making. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the same lines I had before, but this time I've scanned them in and cleaned them up, put them on my iPad where I can access Procreate. There are a lot of advantages to doing it this way, including the fact uh, that you can erase your mistakes into Infinity. Um, you don't have to spend money on supplies or risk a mess. You have an infinite number of tools available, and you can even change your lines if you decide that you don't like them. Um, so I usually go ahead and fill in the page with one color, just to kind of make it easier on the eyes and to unify it as a whole. So I'm going to make a layer on top and come in with a color. I just color dropped it. And I'm going to set this layer to multiply. Um, you could also do it the other way, and I do sometimes. Put it under and set the layer to normal, wherever it is. There it is. And then set the top layer to multiply. And a lot of people prefer to do it that way, and that's totally fine. You can do that as well. It doesn't, for me, I don't really care. <laughs> so. I actually usually like to use Clip Studio Paint Pro for my comics because there are a lot of easy panel tools. Um, and there's like bubble tools, effect tools, really anything you need for a comic. Um, because that's what the program was made for. But since I started traditionally, I think I'm gonna prefer to use uh, Procreate for this. The cool part of Procreate is that it does automatically record speed paints for you. So you don't have to watch me cover up the screen half the time. <laughs> Before we go to that though, I do want to point out that I am only using brushes that come with Procreate for this. So don't feel like you have to go out and get any special brushes or anything because you don't. Um, I do like a lot of brushes, both off and on Procreate. Uh, some I have bought for this as well, uh, but it is not necessary. Procreate comes with a lot of really useful and helpful and powerful tools right out of the box. So definitely don't feel like you have to go and get an 80 tool pack just to do anything cool on Procreate. This is a brush that comes with it that I'm using right now, and it's really nice. The screen is probably a little much for the grass. So let's see what I can do about that. You can see this oil paint brush is really nice because you can also blend other colors into it. One tip for using brushes like this on Procreate is you definitely want to use them like you would use a traditional tool. Um, you know, move it in lots of different directions, um, do the strokes that you would normally do because it makes it look a lot more convincing as a piece of art that you've made. Um, of course, if that's not your style, if you want it to look super digital and super refined, that's fine as well. But just if you're wanting to create a comic like this, uh, that's a good tip that I would have for you. As you can see, I'm just holding up my, just popping a finger down finding a color and using it elsewhere. One thing that will be really nice about this is I can actually make a layer on top of everything and go in with a color and add a lot of really nice effects that way. Or I could even redo the lines completely if I felt like it. Procreate also comes with some elements brushes. So for example, if I was doing a 
pool of water that was still, I could come in with this whoo, and put down some nice effects for under the water. And if it was snowing, I could have a snow brush here. There's all sorts of really useful things and I definitely recommend that you check out Procreate if you haven't. It is a very useful tool and you don't have to get your hands all messy like this to use it. So instead of me showing off the ink all over my hands by covering up the screen half the time, we're gonna go ahead and just do it digitally from here. All right, now that you have seen toning and color, uh, we are going to move on. And for the next video that you'll see, we're gonna be doing some finishing touches and things like that. So stay tuned for that video and we'll see you then.